Hi, welcome to the Fit Moves Exercise Company. I'm here with two of my friends, Carmen and Tracy, and I just want to give you some basic yoga postures that I think are important to um, practice, work on. And the ones we're going to talk about today are definitely Downward Dog. We're going to talk about Warrior One, Warrior Two, and general posturing on your mat and your goals so that you can protect your knees and your shoulders and every other thing you need to protect. So the first thing we're gonna know is that on our mat, we have what I consider a balance beam and it's a fairly wide balance beam. So while you're here, can you girls step back with your right foot to warrior one? Now, part of the key to your warrior one is to keep your shoulders, sorry, keep your shoulders forward and sink into your front knee by lifting your chest. Yeah, slide that, and always hopping that front foot forward, hopping it forward, hopping it forward. Now once you're set and you're comfortable, then you can kind of reach your arms up over you and you're gonna work on that. And the key to your warrior one, part of the things you're gonna do is work on pushing your back foot down onto mine. Uh-huh, push down, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up exhaling and stepping right back up to the front of the top of your mat. Okay, so once again, your balance beam, you step back, you keep your hips forward, take that left foot back, keeping your hips forward, your shoulders are forward, and you wanna slide your front foot forward so that you're safe, and you wanna stay on a balance beam, and you kinda wanna reach up in the air, lifting your sternum bone and holding up. You don't have to touch your hands, that takes pressure off the spine, reaching up, reaching up, reaching up. Exhaling, stepping to the top of the mat. So once again, the hip bones, you're working on getting them facing forward. You're working on stepping back where you're on your balance beam. Your heel is in your arch. So when you set that posture, you slide the front foot far as you feel safe. Inhale your chest up and reach up to warrior one. Try to pull the shoulder and the hip towards you and reach up and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one step up. So there's your warrior one. Again, working on your shoulders and your hips, facing the mirror, keeping your feet on that balance beam, always stepping on the balance beam, which makes heel to the arch very important. If your back hurts you, you can step out a little bit with that foot, but ultimately heel to arch. Okay, warrior two, let's step back right onto the mat. Open the feet as wide as you can, as wide as you can, as wide as you can. Now, arms come up and drop those fingers where the middle, middle finger meets to the ankle width. And you wanna start lifting, 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 lifting from your sternum. Now just relax your arms, relax your arms. Take the left foot and spiral it on a 90 degree angle. Shoulders and hips straight, arms are out. Inhale, soften the left knee. Inhale, there's your warrior two. Now you look right down that beautiful middle finger, keeping those arms out. Chest is lifted, breathing in, exhaling, concentrating, inhaling, exhaling, coming on back up. Once again, you're gonna set those hands and those fingers right out where you are. Chest lifts, fingers down, slide the right foot, Extending it out, warrior two. Easy look, easy look, easy look. Relax those shoulders, chest up, up, up. Breathing in, the hands can be out. If you want pressure off the shoulders, put the hands up. You can even drop. Really work through the legs. Shoulders and hips are always in alignment with each other. Sliding back up, shaking it out. So once again, coming, always get a good wide stance. Hips and shoulders in alignment. Hands come out, breathing in. Very, very gently, middle fingers about the wingspan of your body to your ankle. Extend out your left foot, slide it out, inhale, and reach. You gotta pull both ways, reach, reach, reach. Chest open, take that glance down the middle finger, warrior two, inhale, open the heart. Exhale, come on back up. <clears throat> Let's practice our triangle. Get back to your wide stance. Spiral your right foot to the right. Inhale. Generally, you can place the block on the outside of the leg or on the inside of the leg. Whichever one feels safe, lift nice and tall. Arms out, extend out, 
and land to your block and hold. And remember, always opening your palm to the ceiling, reaching up and doing what? Lean back. <coughs> what do we do? Lean back. Always lean back, trying to keep the shoulder in line with the hips. Rolling the heart open, careful, breathe. Inhaling and exhaling, coming on out and shaking out. Beautiful, soften the knees, shake it out, bring your feet back to your warrior, back to your 90. Now with your 90 degree angle, you want a wide stance, wingspan stance, down. Inhale, back up, back to the top of your mat. Now remember, we're gonna have that balance beam. So we're gonna walk foot back over foot, back, 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 back. Whenever you're ready, step right on the balance beam. You're on that balance beam. Your yoga practice needs to be a little bit on a balance beam. Exhale, step back. Balance beam, balance beam, balance beam, balance beam, balance beam, balance beam, balance beam. Breathe up, heart up, and exhaling, relax. This is, an, the down dog situation is very important. For beginners, or I don't even want to use the word beginners, when you're starting, okay? Touch your thumbs together for me. Yep. Open your knees so they're nice and secure. Wide stance, yep. Now roll your toes for me. Now, come up to the highest, tippiest, tippiest toe and hang your head. Good, so I always want you to think of your sit bones pulling towards the ceiling. Before you do anything right now, just soften the knees a teeny bit, push your chest to your thighs and roll your sit bones up to the ceiling. Doink, your little kitten arch sit bone look. Eight, seven, six. Now ease your heels towards the floor and push your chest to your thighs. Inhale, breathe, breathe, and release your knees down to the floor. Okay, now open your hands three to four quarter widths apart. I want you to pretend your pointer fingers, you have tape. Tape right on those fingers. You're gonna push your fingers in as much into the floor, spread out your hands, roll your toes, go to the highest tippiest tippy toes and hang your head. You have to work on this before you have a solid down dog. Getting onto those tippy toes. Now bend the knees a little teeny bit, shoot the sit bones to the ceiling, let the head relax, stay on the tippy toes. Now ease the heels as far towards the floor. Some of us may never get our heels on the floor. Pushing, 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 and releasing down. Good. So, again, down dog. Down dog is the posture of the day. The feet and knees are hip distance apart. Roll those toes. Go on to the highest tippy toes and let your head hang. On top of that, you have shoulder blades. You need to draw those shoulder blades back to your rib cage as they pull back. Draw them. Let your body lengthen as you kind of pop your chest a little bit. Draw the shoulder blades back. Bend the knees a little bit. Push the chest to the thighs. Ease the heels towards the floor. Breathe, 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 breathe. And gently let the knees release to the floor. And go to child's. Pushing your buttocks deeply into your heels. Lengthening your arms. Breathing in, breathing out and coming on up. Okay, face both, everybody face them out. We're gonna work on chaturanga. We're gonna do it two ways. We're gonna do bent knees. Carmen, can you do bent knees for me? Yes. And um, Tracy's gonna do straight leg. Now, with your chin, go to give me a nice deep plank. I wanna hold you guys along because it's not easy. You're gonna glue your elbows to your side, okay? And you're gonna come as low to the ground and you're gonna stop right here and now push up forward, uh-huh. Up to up dog. Now remember, don't let the shoulder dip forward. There's a lot of pressure. Right now I have a terrible impingement, and that is probably due to not practicing my chaturangas as well as I probably should have. Push back to child's. Okay. All right. So, so do me a favor and turn it on to the side, Tracy. You can stay straight forward on. Now, come on up onto your nice planks, everybody. Uh-huh. Okay, you can drop your knees if you want, Carmen, for the chaturanga, but otherwise, no. You can bend your elbows tight into your sides. Now go down, go down, stop, push up, 
And there you go. So you don't want to dip your shoulder too far forward. There's some controversy in regarding yoga into that. And release back. Now, I'm going to tell you right now how I do, since I have an impingement injury in my shoulder, how I'm fudging chaturanga. Um, and I'm just as happy doing it that way. So you're going to reach your hands out as far as you can. And you're going to stretch. We'll open our fingers just for the purposes of opening them one quarter width apart. And all we're going to do is come on forward, bend our elbows, and push back, working on strengthening. We're not going to up dog. We'll do that four times. Let's go front and back, front and back. Eventually, when we do more wider hand, do it again. Two more. See how you're just working the muscles in the bicep and the tricep. Two more times. Two more. And your last one, you can sit back and stretch. And then what we'll do is our fudge, okay? And then we'll go up to up dog. So this time we're gonna come forward and open the hands shoulder width apart. Come on forward, fudge it, touch it, and lift it. And push back to child's. We're gonna do that again, all right? Come on forward, fudge it, bend the elbows, touch the, the, the head, chest fall, boop, and up we go. Two more times. All right, last time. Come on forward. I want you to fudge it though. Go down and let the chest hit the floor. Boop. And now push up. Yeah. So that you don't have to work the shoulder at all. All right. And stretch back. 